Hello everyone, White Mage Serenia here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. In our last episode, we acquired the Esper Odin. In which case, Odin's the only Esper in this version of the game that can teach you speed plus one. Also teaches Meteor. But, uh, there's another Esper we can get here through a secret entrance that teaches us the spell quick. Um, so, the honest truth, uh... It might be a good idea to take up, take your guys out, level up with Odin so you can learn everyone with Meteor, get the speed bonus, and then come back and turn him into the other Esper to get quick. However, since I've already got Ultima, I'm not going to worry with Meteor. Besides that, Celeste learns it naturally on her own anyway. So I'm just going to show you how that works. Also, I knew those thrones were used for something. It just kept slipping my mind what it was. But YouTubers such as Azure Mage 253 and I think Big J something and Gamer Genesis reminded me that if you go to whoops not behind it if you go to this throne here the left one I'm sorry right one and go down one two three four five steps and click X you open up a hidden passage then there's also this room back here which contains the Blizzard Orb and a random battle. All right, we're back now. Like I said, it has the Blizzard Orb and the gold hairpin. The Blizzard Orb is another relic for uh, specifically for Imaro. You equip him with that, and he has a chance to use a move called Storm, which I think is an ice element that attack on all foes that hits fairly hard. So you want to kind of be careful with that. Alright, now let's head over here into the room we unlocked. See, those stairs weren't uh, wouldn't be there before unless we checked the, uh, the, uh, the secret switch on the floor there. Something about some queen wanting to bear her love to Odin. Love between human and Esper. Alright, Terra. Also, X Ether. Alright, down the steps we go. To grandmother's house we go. Check the armors, because there's there might be something in them. Also, dragon. Come here, dragon. Oh, righty then. This guy should be fairly easy. Just a blue dragon. I don't know why it's lagging either. Clean sweep that Edgar blocked. Oh, you know what Saban's gonna do. Terra, I want you to cast Cure 3, followed by Ultima. And I messed up on Bum Rush because I lagged a bit there. I don't know why. Hello, Aqua Rake, that everyone but Locke blocked. And Locke barely took any damage. Bang! <laughs> oh, buddy! Slash Flare! Do 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 do. Then get your magic back. Alright! Ha 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 ha! Easy breezy beautiful cover girl. Oh, yes. No problem. Nope. We got 10 magic points and a scimitar. Uh, the scimitar sword actually has a chance to uh, dispatch an enemy in one blow, but I prefer not to use it. And only two dragons are left, and they're in the final dungeon. And Celeste is stoned? Well, that's kind of odd. Even the queen was turned to stone. Doo -doo -doo. A tear comes from stone? And Odin now transfers to Raiden, or Raiden. However you wish to pronounce that. Now then, if you take a look at Raiden, I'm sorry, Raiden, however you want to pronounce it, I got Metal Gear Solid 2 on my head right now, and 4. Now, like I was saying, Raiden, uh, what the, oh yeah, <laughs> she has the uh, economizer, everything costs 1. Now, like I said, it learns the quick spell, and I'm going to give that to Terra because I'm pretty sure I might be able to exploit that. Alright, anyway, what Quick does is if you cast it, you get another turn, essentially. It doubles your turn speed, so it's kind of nice. It's similar to Haste, but not quite there. It's... I don't really know how to explain how it works, but just know that it works. It gives you an extra turn, essentially. If any of you play Yu-Gi-Oh!, it's similar to the Trap Card uh, Pyro Clock of Destiny or something like that. I don't play it anymore, but I know friends that do. Alright, we're back. Also, uh, remember way back when when I said the Genji Glove capture combo? 
Alright, we're back. I'm just gonna stand here so we don't get another random battle. Anyway, what I was saying is, uh, way back when I made a, a side episode, um, when I was saying Genji, Gov Genji Glove plus cla Capture could create a bug in the game to where you could keep on stealing the same item over and over, but you're not actually getting it, and different things like that. It was Offering and Capture, not Genji Glove, so just to clear that up. So don't give Locke the Capture command and the Offering together, because that can glitch the game. Alright, let's head up here and check out for more treasures that I might have missed in, it, right through here. Because I know there was something else. Yeah. And like I said, I'd check it on the way back out. X-Potion. Random battle. Alright, we are back. Now, oh, Magisite. Alright, looks like that's all that's left here. Random battle. Alrighty then, we're back yet again. Like I said, there's really nothing left here, so I think I'm just going to see if Escape works here. I think Saban has it. No, he doesn't. And I know for a fact she does, though. The spell works, but not escape. So, I'll meet you back at Castle Figaro. Be right back. Alright, everyone, we're back. I decided to go ahead and uh, get Figaro Castle back to Colingen so we can get on the airship. Alright, we're back. So, hop aboard the airship. Go amidship, because there's something I want to take care of next. Okay, let's go on ship. Koopapa! Yes, I want to change party members. Okay, Cyan, you're coming with me. Next we have Terra, Locke, and Sabin. You, oop, not, I, er, Locke, I said. You're with me. Now then, need to go back this way. Yes, that's right. Next stop, Doma Castle. First of all, I want to equip those not in my party. Uh, the very special reasoning behind that. Actually, I have no need to really equip Cyan at all right now. And I have good reasoning for that. In the meantime, though, Locke, I want you to take the offering. There it is. Nope. I want you with the Ragnarok and the, uh... Soul Saber, wherever the heck it went to. There it is. Also, yes, the Red Cap. And the Force Armor. That'll do nice. Well, is there anything else that increases... Yeah, Bard's Hat. There we go. That's what I want you with. Now, let's get a move on. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, like I said, there's no real reason to uh, equip anything to Cyan, because you won't be using him, using him in this section. You just need him to trigger the scenes. <sighs> so fly down here to Doma Castle. I, use, I really don't like this scene, because it's annoying, but there you go. So let's go ahead and get it in, get started on it while I still have a couple minutes. Yeah, it's a wonderful homecoming to the Doma Castle. Dun dun dun. All we really need to do is go find a bed to sleep in. Which I think's down here at the inn. Uh, if I remember where the heck I'm going. Which I don't. We can go to his room. But you can't sleep in his bed. What kind of man doesn't want to sleep in his own bed that he has to go to the end of the castle? Cyan, that's who. Alrighty then, into the door. Uh, yes, this one, I think. Um, oh, yes. Oh, I already got that, that's right. Got that when I first came through here. It's this door we need to go into. The door we never could go in before. Yes, let's rest. It doesn't look conspicuous at all, does it? Dude. And then Cyan doesn't wake up. Um, Cyan, need to wake up. And I'm running out of time. This is not good. Oh, no, no. Oh, who are you? 
I'm Curly. Alright guys, I'm going to leave it here, and join us next time for when we tackle Science Dream. Alright everyone, this has been White Mage Serini saying uh, thanks so much for watching, tune in next time, have a nice day everyone, thanks for watching.